How do I start Shonen Archive? Hello everyone and welcome back to Shonen Archive! I'm Wilkie and I'm here with Zenrot. Hello. What's Shonen Archive? I'm glad you asked. Shonen Archive is a series in which me and Zen dedicate our entire well-beings to watching every single Shonen Jump anime in existence that's available to us in some kind of form or fashion, with our main series being Kintama and our other two side series being Jujutsu Kaisen and Koroko's Basketball, and there was no episode last week because both of our works decided to work us the second Thanksgiving was over. Yes, they decided, oh good, the holiday is over, it's time yeah. to remember why you needed the holiday to begin yeah. with. Cr crack the whip real quick, and <laughs> we went right back to work, so we weren't able to do it. Basically, we had to take an extended, extended break, but we're back this week with Ginzama to talk about the popularity poll arc, which is episodes... Uh, I had the wiki pulled up, and I can't believe I ha don't have it right here, is episodes... 182 to 184. I might have accidentally told you the wrong three episodes. Now that I think about, it. I might have said 181. That's what I watched. I watched the popularity, the whole popularity. Okay, okay yes, good. I might. I feel like I might have said 181. Let me just be double sure here. I'm really bad with I, numbers. I, I watched 182 to 184. So okay, even if you th that's did, good. I, I did it correctly anyway. So yeah, the I have a running thing with numbers where I'm. Very, okay, no, I said the right thing. The only reason is that recently on a video. <laughs> this is really odd to edge, but I'm going to say it anyway, uh, is that uh, on a figure out order video, I said that an event is going to have a week, basically. And then someone said, actually, it's nine days. And I said, how the fuck do you get nine days? <laughs> but it seemed like <laughs> enough people were going like, no, no, he, they're right. It's nine days. So I was like, okay, starts on the 7th, goes until the 15th. Isn't that at most maybe eight? Where is everyone that, getting nine? But eight days, yeah. I mean, I guess like time zone wise, it could be like hours into the next day. See, and that's what I was thinking, but they were using my time zone, so I was like, "What?" But maybe I just have a different concept of time because I work night shifts, so I don't consider a lot of the day as a full day. <laughs> my days are maybe a little bit different from everyone else's. So I have, I've been having a little bit of a, I don't know about time anymore <laughs> when it comes to this kind of <laughs> stuff. A little bit self conscious. But anyway, before we get into the actual episodes, I figured it'd be a good time as any since we're going to be doing the co uh, we're doing an entire arc based off the uh, popularity poll. We do our current standings for top five. It's been a bit since we did the last one, but I figure now is a good time to do it again. So I'll start with my five, and then Zen will go for his. Um, I'm going to start at number one because I think number one is very obvious. It's always going to be Gintoki. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's almost always going to be Gintoki. Um, I think the series understands that Gintoki is also always going to be number one, so they don't spend very much time on it. Uh, follow from that, I think my number two would then be uh, Hijikata, which is new. I think he's jumped up from the last time, because previously number two might have been Katsura for me. And number three is actually Katsura. And then... Um, Going from there, the uh, fourth one is going to be Kagura, and then Sukoyo is a number five, and this is the one where I had to constantly think back about it, because I really have been liking the arcs that have featured Sukoyo in it, but in the back of my mind, I cannot actually place her higher than Kagura at the moment, because I also really like Kagura. There's just been so many episodes with Kagura. And I like so many of the, like, different kind of things that he's doing with, like, basically making a female gremlin back in this day seems almost unheard of, <laughs> especially for Shonen, when so much of the side uh, female characters are usually only used for, like, cutesy kind of stuff, and she's allowed to be as nasty as all the main characters. So for that reason alone, I put her at four for now. We'll see how it goes by the next time we do one of those, but th that's my top five right there. It is... Uh, Gintoki number one, Hijikata number two, Katsura number three, uh, number four, Kagura, and then uh, number ten, Sukoyo. And that's how I'm currently okay. feeling. Uh, okay. How about you, Zen? So my top five, uh, my number one is Katsura. Mm -hmm. uh, my number two is Gintoki. Mm -hmm. I think my number three is uh, Okita. Mm -hmm. And my number four is Hijikata, and my number five is Sukoyo. Okay. 
So I almost got, I got I got at least two of them right with Katsura and Kentucky. I was gonna say that it's actually been a, which is gonna run into this next arc. I would assume that it would still be Takatsuji would still bake it, but uh, he has just not shown up very he just often. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, I really like him. But he doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm kind of the sure. sim- I'm the similar way. Once we actually get to the arc with him, I feel like it will immediately be like, oh yeah, he's, oh yeah, he'll skyrocket. I'm a, sure a, but, immediate uh, skyrocket. But yeah. I think it's really funny right that now he's just the creepy guy in the background. <laughs> It's true, and he's still fourth, which is maybe the most <laughs> one of the best jokes related to the popularity poll in Gintama, is that he's done nothing since his last appearance on the popularity poll, and he is still a strong four. Yeah, he's still number four. It's really funny. So yeah, that's where our current standings are. I am glad that we're both on the same frame of mind that Sequoia has just made an extremely hard intro <laughs> and made it straight to top five for us. Um, I think actually last time we did it, I think we both, all, I can't remember if we had both Katsura at number one. I still really like Katsura, uh, for sure. I just actually wish there was more Katsura now that I think about it. Yeah, Katsura's the best. Every, every episode he's in, I like, except for that one, that one cursed one with the dog show contest. Yeah, that's the only one. That's been that's the only, bad, that's the, bad Katsura <laughs> the only one he couldn't save. Yeah. So sad. But there you go. Those are current standings. If you want to tell us how you feel, you can say your endgame one, or if you're currently watching along with us, feel free to tell us what you think at the moment. Um, before we get into the actual arc, I needed to do this because a lot of this upcoming arc is based off of Shimpachi feeling bad about how he's the number eighth most popular character considering how much screen time he has. The uh, second most screen time, apparently. Yeah, second most. Nick, number one has to be Gintoki. <laughs> obviously yeah, uh yeah. so i've decided to do some research and see what other number eight what other characters have placed eighth place in a popularity poll using in this case naruto and dragon ball and i'm actually kind of surprised of like yeah i think he actually should feel a little bit bad <laughs> about how, how he's placed <laughs> uh we're gonna start with the dragon ball ones because the dragon ball ones are fucking wild so the Dragon Ball popularity poll, the fr- this was in Weekly Shonen Jump issue in uh, issue number twelve in nineteen ninety three. Can you possibly guess who is the eighth most popular character? I will okay, say so that how, this is how far into Dragon Ball are we talking though? Because that well, in Japan, Dragon end, Ball is just all of it. End of Cell arc, and up to the end of Cell number yeah. eight. Oh God, um, Android seventeen, not even on the top ten. Really, that's surprising. I think people like uh, it's like Krillin or something. Like, it would be really funny if it was Krillin because Kr- the match should Kr- perfectly. Krillin is number six. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. So worse than Krillin. Yeah. So worse. then we're talking Tian Tian Shinhan, maybe? No, not did. At this point, Tian Shinhan was not making the the, the top ten. <laughs> oh, dude, I have no idea. Then Hercule, Mr. Satan, Mr. Uh, Satan coming in at number seven. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy's less popular than Mr. Satan? Are you ready for this amazing <laughs> reveal? Absolutely. It's Cell. Cell came in at 8th place. <laughs> the, to- the, full t- the full top 10, just to give you the full rundown, number 10 is Dende, <laughs> number 9 is Bulma, number 8 is Cell, Mis- number 7 is Mr. Satan, number 6 is Krillin, number 5 is Piccolo, 4th is Vegeta, 3rd Thir- is Trunks. Number I can t- see that Trunks was super popular. Like. He was, and he it's a it's like over ten thousand more votes for Trunks. People love Trunks. Number two, Goku, and at number one, Gohan, because of course, <laughs> because of the Cell arc, the end moment here. This is nineteen ninety three. It just happened. They don't know what's coming for Gohan in the next arc, so he's replaced at number one immediately. Yeah, uh, they, they're not aware of. <laughs> yeah, now we'll talk. We'll oh. talk. Now the second popularity poll. Can you guess who is number eight? Now this is to the end of Majin Buu. So this is the end of like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, this uh, is 1995. Okay. Uh, now we're in 1995. Pretty okay. close to the end of. Number Buu. eight. I was actually shocked by this one. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Android 18. I'm, I'm going with the androids <laughs> on my first guess every time. Fair enough. It's not the android. It's not Android 18. Uh, Videl. It's not Videl. Okay. Um, it's not Boo, is it? <laughs> no, but funny enough, in the next poll, Majin Boo is number eight. <laughs> that, 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 that that's the point where we're entering the era of Dragon Ball that was just forgotten, where we're like surviving by DVD movies. Yeah, 
but this oh, is man, number eight. Yeah, you're so, okay, I... it's obviously not Goku. It's obviously not Vegeta. I doubt it's. It could maybe like Goten. Goten coming in at number seven. Okay, so just below Goten. It's not Kid Trunks then, because everyone likes him more than Goten. Yes. Um, Actually, funny enough, Kid Trunks not on here. Unless you want to really? count him. Yeah, Kid Trunks not on here. Real? That's surprising. That is um, very surprising. Japan was different in 1995. Pic Piccolo? Piccolo is probably higher than Goten, I would think. Piccolo is. Uh, st he stayed at number five. Okay, so he's still up there. Uh, oh, dude. Um, Deborah. No, but you're on the right frame of mind. <laughs> is it uh, uh, Bobbity? No, think hero side. Deborah and the hero. Gohan? Gohan came in in sixth. This is where the stocks fell down hard for Gohan. Yeah, dude. Oh, holy shit. Drop first to sixth. That's plummet. Yeah. Deborah on the hero side. Supreme Kai? No, actually. All right. You're never going to guess this one. I'll say okay, he's from right. the original Dragon Ball crew. What the fuck? Yeah, you have so, to go all the way back to the original Dragon Ball crew. Like the end of Dragon Ball crew? No. From the start of the Dragon Ball crew. So, so Goku, Bulma, Yamcha? Like It's Yamcha. It's Yamcha? Yamcha came in at number eight. Uh, Krillin... For, for what purpose? He doesn't do anything in the book. <laughs> he he doesn't. Uh, Krillin came in in tenth. They really hate... The fact that he got a wife and kids really <laughs> dropped his popularity. <laughs> number nine... Frieza. Frieza came in <laughs> nine. <laughs> Seven. Well, I, you know, I guess I was just thinking that it would only be Buark stuff. Yeah, fair, but fair enough. But this was like a full uh, on everyone. And yeah, then it's like whole series. Yeah, Goten, Gohan, Piccolo. This is surprising. Gotenks came in fourth. With, I could see that. I mean, yeah. people like Gotenks more than Goten and Trunks. Yeah, and this is the, the art here that they're showing is Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and I really did like Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks back then. Yeah, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks went hard. Yeah, it did. Uh, Trunks, regular. Uh, I don't. This is where the part where like I'm not sure if they're considering Trunks and Kid Trunks the same. I would separate them, but Trunks got third, Vegeta got second, and then finally Goku showing pure dominance with 10,000 votes over 3,000 over Vegeta. And that was the second popularity poll for Dragon Ball back in 1995. So yeah, when you look at the number 8th place being Cell and Yamcha, that is what Shimpachi has to kind of go with. For Naruto, it's even worse. I'm only going to do the first two, because holy shit, can you guess who in the first popularity poll ranked 8? In Naruto? Yeah. How far into Naruto did we get at this point? We are at least at Gara arc. We, um, so, so, so like tuning tuning exam roughly tuning exam roughly yes i'll say okay. maybe just before um the sand village attacked i'll say that much but you've at least probably seen the fight with rock lee and everything else you've seen the rock lee okay. fight at okay. the very least okay eight it's not gonna be naruto obviously it's not gonna be sasuke it could maybe be sakura but probably not um, it's obviously not Kakashi. Yeah. Maybe like Neji? Uh, Neji comes in in 12th. 12th, okay. So more popular than Shikamaru? Uh, Shikamaru came in, I think, way below. That's a crime. That's a fucking crime. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, Dude, Shikamaru came in at 27th. That's some absolute bullshit. Um... Oh, it was manga chapter 60, so let me see if 60 will tell me. Last chance. Four days after the second phase of the tuning exam. So he hasn't had his fight yet with um, Tamari is what I would guess. That's where... Okay. They're, they're still in tuning okay. exams. Era, they're right? still, like, in the in the early exams. Yeah, they're still in okay. the shit, then. My bad. Then the it only could thing... maybe be Rock Lee? Maybe? Rock Lee like came in higher, six. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, I feel like it would be higher. Because he, 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 uh, Gara came in seventh. Because again, Rock Lee debuted rocking Sasuke shit, and Gara debuted murdering people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were both, they both came in very cool in the beginning. Yeah, um, they did. Uh, you have to think of the right. previous arc. Which was the, the land Z of the waves. Zab yeah. Zabuza? Zabuza is, uh, Haku is eighth. That is who got Haku. eighth place. Okay. Haku got eighth, and Zabuza got ninth. 10 was Hinata just by the pure power of her lusting over Naruto. Yeah, I was about to say, she does nothing. <laughs> she, she does nothing. Not I mean, she did help him, at least at this point, where she said, like, hey, cheat off me. And then he says, Date Bayo, I'll do it, okay? 
And then she said, okay, <laughs> I guess. And then six is Rock Lee, fifth is Sakura. Because this is, I guess, back when people still had hope for Sakura. <laughs> Fourth is Aruka somehow. Third is Sasuke. Second is Naruto. And number one is Kakashi. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, yes. Kakashi's cool as shit. Yes, he is. Uh, for the second character pull, you're never going to guess this guy. By this point, they we're in chapter 107. Um, which is him, which is the Shikamaru and Tamari Am I not going to guess this guy because he's like a random nobody? Or am I not going to guess him because he's he should be higher than he is? You're, ne you're never going to guess him because he is a random nobody. What I village is he from? He is from the Leaf Village. Leaf he, village. You have to, again... Kiba, a dog guy. No, not Kiba. Do you have to think about this guy? Okay, he's a Chunin. I'm, I'm oh going to give you hints because... Okay, so he's not Iruka. Because um, he's not a random... Well, maybe. Is it Iruka? Probably not, right? It's not Iruka. No, no. Is it one of the pro the exam proctors? Yes, it is one of the proctors. Is it the guy with the bandana on his head? Uh, can you be a little bit more specific? <laughs> the guy who's like the main proctor, I think he gets murdered. Yes, uh, Hayato Gecko. Yeah. <laughs> the dude who had like a really cool design and gets fucking murked by the I think sand village. Totally murdered almost immediately. Yeah. yeah. I was surprised. Cool. Like, yeah. I mean, I did. I remember liking him back in the day. Uh, for the other top 10, it was Jiraiya is in 10th, Gamabunta is in 9th, uh, it's him, Gara 7th, Hinata 6th, uh, Rock Lee 5th, Sasuke 4th, Aruka 3rd, uh, Kakashi is in 2nd, and Naruto is, by this point, number 1. Where did, by this point, where did the Sakura, Sakura was in 4th, and I think, uh, 14th, um... And then by the next poll, I think Rock Lee is in eighth. So that's kind of where Shinpachi's mind state is going. That's where eighth place is typically. So it... I, I looked up a couple as well, just because this was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I looked up the first popularity poll for Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm -hmm. And the first popularity poll for My Hero Academia. Oh, shit. Who do you, who do you think it is for Jujutsu Kaisen first? For, it was chapter 65 was up to where Jujutsu Kaisen was. So this was like... Um, the very like the very first chapter of hidden inventory so think like before that oh okay 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 because it, it came um, out with the release of hidden inventory so it's like up through the uh kyoto goodwill tournament thing basically okay. season one of the anime all right um maki no maki uh was 12th maki was 12 okay panda yes panda was 14th holy shit okay um it is not a tokyo student it's not a Tokyo student. Um, shit. <laughs> um, Maki's sister? Would she be on there? My, my was 24th. 24th? Holy shit. It's the most popular character that is not a Tokyo student. No way, it's, it's Toto? It's one of the Kyoto. It's Toto! <laughs> no, Toto got eight? That's insane! Oh, Toto, eighth place, yeah. First was Yuji, second was Megami, third was Gojo, fourth was Inumaki, Fifth was Nanami, sixth was Nobara, seventh was Yuta, who is not in the manga other he than is, the oh, chapter. I am, uh, I am throwing this under protest. How did Yuta get seventh and he didn't <laughs> even... <laughs> did not appear other than JJK Zero at this point. Damn. Um, and Toto at eighth place. Damn. All right. I mean, to be fair, right. did you, that's a pretty strong list. Stock. I can understand it. Top ten. Yeah. Although, funny enough, ninth was Junpei the kid who just shows up and turns into a school shooter and then gets killed. God damn it. <laughs> he should <laughs> ranked higher than Sukuna. What? Oh my god. He's always I been a fraud. 2,000 <laughs> votes, by the way. If there's ever been a proof that Sukuna has always been a fraud, you can look back to the first popularity <laughs> poll where he lost to fucking Junpei. <laughs> uh, for what was it looking for my hero? Where, where was the end point? Uh, the endpoint for my hero, um, it doesn't actually say it, just as the first popularity poll. Based on the characters that are on it, I will say, uh, the, what do you, the, um, uh, oh, here we go. Actually, it does, it does have a chapter number. Chapter 52, which is the end of the battle against Stain. Hmm. I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna... so like right up through the sports festival and a little bit afterward. Todoroki? No, Todoroki was second. 
fuck. I was, I'm trying to think in my head is like how it was, it was post sports festival, but Todoroki stocks are all are all time high right yeah, now. Yeah, that's the thing is that it's hard to do my hero because I'm like, okay, how deep in it are they into Bakugo and Todoroki at this point? Um, because depending on that is gonna completely sway. Uraraka maybe? Uh, no, Uraraka was fourth. Fourth, okay. Good showing for a for a lead girl in a first popularity poll. It honestly is pretty solid. Yeah. They were they were really trying with her at the start. <laughs> yeah, there's um, actually two girls in the top eight. Is Momo the other one? Uh, no, the frog girl is six. Oh, so damn. I really do like Suyo. Um, Momo is 11. I'm glad to hear that my, my frog girl made it over the <laughs> the, the, the flashy yes, cat. over the number eight line, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> CU Nation, rise when up. you hear this character, you're going to go, oh, yeah, definitely this person. <laughs> like, it's... It's very believable this person is eight. It's one of the students from the the main class. Okay. It's not one of, like, the weird, uh, like, it's not balls, man, is it? It's not the, like, the... It's, it's a relatively major one of the students. Is he, not, like, is it Ida? level. Yes, it's Ida. Okay, it's Ida. Okay, that, that would make Literally the most Literally just sense. Shinpachi with engines on his legs. I think uh, Gintama might have been cooking with the 8th place being something else, because they really do. It's like yeah. the Shinpachi place, almost. The yeah, only one that really doesn't is. fit is, like, Toto. <laughs> yeah. Well, doesn't Gintoki at one... Or, no, not Gintoki. It's uh, Yamazaki who calls it, like, uh, number one spot for background characters. <laughs> <laughs> He does. He does say it. Yeah, for yeah. for that. That's funny. All right, then that's been our slight. Hit. This is actually super fascinating. You should look up other eighth player, uh, eighth player, eighth place popularity polls when you have the chance, because you'll go down a rabbit hole of going like, is this guy comparable to Shimpachi? And a lot of the answers, the a lot of the time, the answer is yes. The only time it wasn't is with Toto. But if you actually remove Yuda. And then Junpei enters the eighth. That makes a hundred percent sense. Yeah, Yuta, Yuta was a weird odd one out in that first poll. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. If you take him off the list, then Toto bumps up to seven, and then Junpei goes to eighth. It's the perfect Shimpachi slot. It is one hundred percent. All right, then let's get into the actual episode. Now we'll do episode one eighty two. The name of this episode is called "Screw Popularity Polls." Go ahead, Zen. Okay, so episode eight, uh, everybody, or episode one eighty two, yeah, uh, everybody. I got eighth on the brain. No, um, they do like the. They're in the same. They're like the action figure, like whatever that is. That was like yeah, the, the same the, thing the, they did the high... for the ranking thing before. Yes, yes, the the special like downtown style thing that they did the for ranking, the ranking character yes. models. Yes. Um. And. Uh, they're, they go through it all, and it's pretty funny because they go through, like, the really low ones, and I think the Just Away beats out, like, a decent number of characters. <laughs> I think it gets, like, 22nd place or something. Yeah, it beats out Sachan. <laughs> That's one of the funny ones that it beats out, is the Just Away doll is more popular than Sachan. Uh, which is, yeah, it's very funny. Um, and they go all the way up through to number two, and then they don't show number one, and it just plays the opening. And obviously it was Kentucky because he's the only character left uh -huh. um, that didn't get it. Then after the the opening, Shimpachi is, like, devastated. Um, and from this point on, everybody has their ranking with an arrow pointing to them above their head. Um, Yamazaki is also there, and he is number nine. And he's even sadder about it because he was top five, apparently, in the yeah, last he, one, which he, is crazy. He was. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Um, but he drops to uh, ninth. And they're talking about, like, oh, well, you know, I think we did pretty well for our, like, positions, you know, like, our roles in the plot. And Shinpachi's like, actually, I think yours is really impressive, considering that you don't get very much screen time. But I have the second most screen time in the show. <laughs> and nobody likes me. Um Yamazaki gives him like a pep talk about like sometimes it's okay to be the background guy, but then he starts crying and runs away. Um, but then Shinpachi hears him scream and he's laying naked under a bridge. Um, and then his rank starts plummeting and he's like, what's happening? And they realize that because his underpants have been pulled down, his ranking is going down because everyone thinks he's a loser now. Um, Shinpachi's trying to figure out who it is because he tells him, like, there's someone out there trying to fuck with the rankings. Um, and then Ote and Sachan are, like, fighting with each other. Um, 
and then eventually they end up teaming up with Kyubei to form uh, like a like a team to go and start taking out the other people to make Otai number one. And so the goal again, and Kyubei's like, uh, they're like, wouldn't you be number one because you're higher than all of us? But then Kyubei goes, once we get everyone else out of the way, I will take my own life. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then uh, they see Sequoia's rank and they're like who even is this girl who even <laughs> this person is and they all get really pissed off um, but then Ote is like I'm gonna go take out the the, the author the series author <laughs> cause it's um, yeah and then she does and then when that happens the quality of the episode like keeps getting worse because he's not there to work on it anymore it's like a, an image of him holding a flower, and it's like he was taken out. And then the episode ends with uh, updated character rankings, and Ote moves up because um, the author is removed from the list. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't even realize they were doing that until close to the end when they were showing all the characters. I didn't realize that they were moving it up. Because, like, oh, yeah, that's a different kind of, like, um, like flash screen that they've done but then i realized near the end oh they've been updating it this entire time <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. uh, and then during the ending they actually put everyone's character name the ranking along with them in the ed <laughs> which is really funny they really went the extra step to make sure to for this uh the ranking thing <laughs> they made sure that all x's were crossed um here I do with my notes. Uh, like I said beforehand, him being so distraught over 8th place led me to look up other 8th places, and I kind of understand where he's coming from. Uh, I really like the opening bit here, where he starts talking about, like, hey, rankings are a thing that humans just do. They need it. Um, you know, it's important to to know where your current standing is and how to improve. Well, what do you do when you do all this extra stuff and you don't change? <laughs> Which is what he's saying. Uh -huh. The last popularity poll, he was eighth. He's still eighth, so he, there's nothing he can do to improve it. Because uh, he is just who he is. And then Yamazaki comes in. I like the realization, like you said, that Yamazaki got fifth last time. <laughs> Yeah, which is crazy. It is really crazy. Some character polls are just fucking wild when it comes to the popularity of some, char some characters where it's like, oh yeah, early on, really like them. And then as it goes on and they develop more, it's like, yeah, duh. But still, ninth place is still pretty respectable for Yamazaki. I like the, the bit where he removes his wig and said, yeah, I think maybe getting the mohawk really hurt me. <laughs> Yeah, he pulls the wig off and he's got the mohawk. It's like, I really think that hurt me in the rankings. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, I like that there's another part where Shinpachi is going, he's so down bad, he's starting to say, like, damn, not even Bandai Namco <laughs> wants me. They're looking down on me. <laughs> That's how far he's getting away. Um, when Yamazaki's talking about, um, about how, like... The popularity things like some people just need to be dirt and the dirt that supports the bigger flowers, <laughs> and that comes back a little bit later on. But it's really funny how like s they're having like emotional breakdowns about their popularity placings, and during this entire time where there's like sad music and they're like crying their eyes out, they just have like the little popularity numbers right next to them. Uh -huh. Sometimes, sometimes that's all you see of their characters is that you just see like this is eighth and this is ninth, and that's it. <laughs> Really good commitment to the bit. Um, I also like the idea that like every time a character gets nude in any sort of fashion, uh, it drops their popularity and it comes back way later. With Kondo specifically. Yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> when Kondo's like, I got my ranking despite my <laughs> constant nudity. I got it because after this uh, is really funny. It's a good setup from the beginning of like, yeah, this is the thing that's going to tank your popularity. Just hardcore. And obviously the conversation with Sachan and Otai is really funny, especially when she's like, they start talking shit about each other. It goes like, oh yeah, 25th place. I don't know why you think I would attack people for your popularity. I'm, at least I'm, <laughs> I understand that you adjust the way doll did better than you. <laughs> the gap that's between so you. That's so funny. Yeah. The Just Away Doll beat her. That's so fucking funny. 21st place. To be fair, the Just Away Doll is maybe one of my favorite gags from this. I can understand people, if they if I saw it on a poll, where it's like, what's one of your favorite characters? I would definitely think about putting down the Just Away Doll if I had enough <laughs> room for it. Uh, and then she makes the realization that Kondo ranked higher than her, 
than uh, the notes I, because I think Kondo gets 15th and the author got 14th, um, which is really funny because when... The, I think the author is 15th, right? Yeah, the author is 15th and then Kondo is Kondo 14th. Kondo is thir- 13th, I think. 13th. Either way, they're both higher than um, Otai. Than Otai, yeah. yeah. Which it, she also gets really pissed about later on. That yeah. Kondo breaks <laughs> outranks her. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's with all the shit that Kondo gets up to, and there's also like at this point an infamous gif of Kondo in this episode. It is really surprising <laughs> that she ranked lower than Kondo. I guess cause she did kind of get phased out. Like she doesn't really. Uh, yeah, the a last big bit. thing I feel like she did was like when her and Gintoki had that moment in Benny Zakura. Yeah, I mean, she did have the the undersea diva thing. That was, I want to say, the last time she was used. Oh, that's yeah, she yeah. did the turtle people. Yeah, like, yeah, whatever that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. I want to say that's the last like big arc that she's been featured in. But you're right in terms of like huge big character moments. That Ben Zakura was likely the last one for her. Um, obviously she was uh, with QB stuff like that, but I would still consider that more QB than. Her. It's like yeah, a half and I mean, half she doesn't really. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah she doesn't really do that much in that. She's, she's like the damsel in distress of that arc. Yeah, which is really funny because I think I've mentioned this before that uh, uh, Ty goes from being the most dangerous character in the current room to kidnapped, depending on what uh-huh. the <laughs> <laughs> what the narrative needs at the moment. Yeah, which is really funny. Where it's like, and then sometimes they play on that where they kidnap her, and then it turns out that it was a mistake. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that for her. But again, it, it depends. It's understandable. I think the placing makes sense. Um, but it's really funny how angry she is at the idea that the two gorillas did better than her. I also say during that opening beginning bit, when they said when they showed uh, Sorochi, the Sorochi, I, I apologize, I'm so bad with saying Japanese names, the mangaka's uh, name, he's the only person that got to say <laughs> a word after their picture showed up. It's like, how come someone was able to actually talk when we showed their picture? It was like, just call it, like, the author bias. <laughs> That's the reason why. <laughs> uh, again, like you said, that bit with Kyubei when she said, like, I'll just kill myself right afterwards. And the way she was just like, I'll do it. And uh, was pretty funny. Uh, the way that they all ganged up together and they realized, like, hey... This girl, who's especially when they the reveal that she's only been in like at this point a couple episodes, and they ranked better than all three of them, is really funny. Uh, Sachan at the at a certain point stops making like normal human noises and starts like turning borderline demonic with her like realizations about like everything about her. She's like, oh my god, that's not fair. She ranks so high. She got a she got a scar and a pipe. Please just choose one of them. Yeah, she's like, this person's got so many audience hooks. <laughs> yeah. She's got scars and pipes, and she's got, uh... And what was it? They're, they're like, she speaks with a... a prostitute accent. accent. And she's like, damn it! She has so much, and I have so much. <laughs> yeah, the way she turns into, like, borderline gorilla noise. Like, it's 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 really something to behold. It's maybe the best Sacha stuff ever, because she is t- borderline turning into a monster the more she, like, gets angry at the fact that she just plays so much better than her. Um, and yeah, that bit where they go after the, uh, the author and the episode just turns worse is really good, and it leads into maybe one of my favorite moments in the upcoming episode. But overall, I, uh, really like the start of this episode. I think there's something fascinating about popularity polls. Just, like, talking about them and discussing them and, like, actually thinking about, like, okay, so... Like, the we spent, like, 20, like, 18 minutes just talking about 8th places. Because it is absolutely fascinating to think about, like, the... Okay, let's all get together. Who's in the top 10 for here? And the answer is, is surprising. Like, at any point, would you ever consider Cell to be in the top 8 of anything? No. No, no. No, no especially not in modern... It's, it's fascinating. So I really did like the start of this one, and, uh... It was a good, like, comedy bit for me. How do you feel, Zen? Yeah, it's a good setup. Usually these episodes, I'm like, eh, whatever. But I I actually liked how they turned this into, like, a good one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Because typically a lot of the setup for the comedy arcs is the weakest because they're doing a lot of setup. But for some reason in this one, the setup is just so interesting and immediately just, like, catches you that it works perfectly fine. (laughs) It's really well done stuff. Now, anything else to say, Zen? Nope. That's All it. right. Perfect, because now we get to talk about 
episode uh, one. Oh, by the way, before we move on, I think I can finally. So people explain to me why the OP just randomly cuts off. Apparently, Crunchyroll takes out the parts of the Gintama anime where they show the next what's going to be happening in this episode. Um, that's why it has that weird cutoff. It's because they're actually literally cutting off a part of where, like, people are talking to you. At least that's what I understand it to be. Like, I was trying to understand, it was like, wait, what? They do that in this show? It was like, yeah, this is just something Country Roll cuts off, so it ends up being this really weird cutoff. So I just wanted to have the explanation, because people actually did have a legitimate explanation as to why the, the OP just randomly cuts out. So I was like, that's fascinating. I just don't get that because we watch on crunchy roll never once did i would ever think about that it's also yeah, really i never would have uh thought of that yeah also the f it's really funny that the only one they weren't able to work out that issue with was this one <laughs> every other op seems to be perfectly fine it's just this one that has that weirdness to it anyway the reason i bring that up is because now we're going to talk about episode 183 which is the name of this episode is popularity polls can burn in hell <laughs> go ahead zen <laughs> Yeah, so, um, Gintoki's like, I gotta, or not Gintoki, yeah, Shinpachi's like, I gotta find someone who can help me, because everyone is scheming. Who's the only person that won't be scheming? Obviously, that's the person who got number one, so it's gotta be Gintoki. Um, and then the opening plays, and it's made in, like, MS Paint. It's, like, really shitty and awful <laughs> looking, but it's the same song. Um, and it's, like, the same pictures, but just drawn really awful, because the author is gone, because... I killed him. Um, then uh, Shimpachi like runs off to to find it to find Gintoki, and then he realizes uh, that everyone's out to get him as well because they're trying to to get hit their spots. So uh, Shimpachi's running away from like a group because all the all the citizens of the city have ranks, including like nobody. Like like uh, like nobody random townspeople yeah. have ranks, um, and they're like we're gonna get Shimpachi and take his rank, and he gets rescued by Gintoki and Okita, um, and then Hijikata and Kagura are there as well. Hijikata doesn't care about the contest, so they tell him to leave. Um, Katsura is also there, and he's handcuffed, and he's like, uh, you can't trust anyone these days, and they're like, what happened? And then he just has a flashback to being in like a on a bike with like tigers and lions everywhere, and Shimpachi's like doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Um, Sadaharu and Elizabeth are fighting over their ranks, and then eventually they run off to a hotel. If I'm gonna put fighting in quotes, I'm gonna put yeah. Elizabeth getting an ass beating of the yeah. lifetime. <laughs> yeah, it's not a just she's getting fucked up. One hundred percent, it's no, just not stop punches <laughs> to the fucking dome. Yes. Um, and they, they rush off to a hotel, and they're trying to hide. Um, and then both the Shinsengumi group and the Odd Jobs group, except for Shinpachi, are plotting to like take each other out to solidify the control of the top spots, because Okita and Hijikata are 2 and 3, while Gintoki and Kagura are 1 and 6. Um, but then... Sukoyo's like her, 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 she like, uh, she accidentally knocks off Ty's number off the top of her head. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. You can have mine. And she's like, no, that's, that's not fair. I couldn't do that. So she breaks hers. And she's like, why don't we all have it? And she's like, well, we can't all share it. And then they decide that they're going to make like a girl group, like an idol band. Diamond uh, perfume. That way that, yeah, diamond perfume. And then they can all be uh, chosen as number one at the same time. Um, Shimpachi learns of this and runs away and he tries to warn everyone but then Sogo pulls his sword on him and is like, there's a traitor in our group. Is it you? And he's like, no, it's not me. And then he points, he's like, look over there and uh, Hasegawa is hanging from the ceiling naked and his rank has dropped all the way to 256. <laughs> and they're like, look what happened. And they're like, oh my god, they pulled his underwear off and it plummeted his rank again. Yeah, and that's where the episode ends. Um, yeah, this one, my God, the opening bit here, just to fully explain it, it's real. it's, it's funny that like the fro was something that I thought was like a throwaway gag in the last episode actually is the, they, they fix it in this one where they're like, oh yeah, so we're going to get a new author and he's Go uh, Goron-san and then he changes it to make it look like Fist of the North Star. 
<laughs> and he just starts ripping off Fist of the North Star. Um, and then he says, like, hey, if you're going to be the new author for a manga, you should at least know what it's about. And then he, he references back to, like, the early episode where it's, like, Shinpachi doing the narration say, like, so many years ago, such and such happened. He's like, no, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean go back and literally just read the first manga chapter to see how to do the opening. <laughs> Uh, that's great, and then when, um, he gets replaced by Cyborg Sorochi, it comes up with this MS Paint opening, and holy shit, I could not hold, and so, for my specific background, I fucking love MS Paint drawings, <laughs> they it's are, it's so funny, it's, it's so, so funny, funny. The, the cover of this one, I'm just gonna let you know right now, yeah, by this point, if you haven't seen it, it's MS Paint, um, Hasegawa smoking, it is the funniest thing. <laughs> Fig to be, I started laughing and going so hard that my brother's like, "What?" I'm like, "I, I look at this shit, man. It's just M M S Paint." And he's like, "That's in totally just M S Paint." <laughs> and he just watched it with me. It's the only time in the entire history of <laughs> Kid Tama where I was laughing enough to make it like my brother was concerned about what was going on. <laughs> no, it's so funny. It's so good, especially with like it's it's all it's art. You should watch it. We cannot do it justice. Just seeing him in motion and the amazing way it was done, it is fantastic. It is maybe one of my favorite OPs now. The specific MS Paint shitty version of the of the actual OP is just so good. It's wonderful. Um it had that and then the 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 parts where they go in there and they start talking about their rank. I really like it when they're in the safe house bunker. And um, Kondo and Hasegawa are dressed up as... Kondo's dressed up as Kagura, and then Hasegawa's dressed up as Takatsuji. And he's just like... <laughs> he's like, it's obviously just because of his design. Like, this guy hasn't done anything, and he's fourth place! <laughs> so they start stealing it, and they also start talking about, like, oh yeah, it's uncouth to steal from others. Just be your own self, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, that beatdown of Sadaharu and Elizabeth is also really good, because it you just see, like, oh, let me look over here, and then it's just Sadaharu fucking punching the shit out of Elizabeth. <laughs> and they cut back to this a little bit later, where they're, like, looking at the group, and he's still doing it. And then you see Kagura in the background going, like, yeah, that's it, go, go for it, Sadaharu, you can do it. Um... Also, oh, like, uh, there's a bit here with Katsura where he talks about, like, he why he the only reason that they were the Shinsengumi were able to capture him is that he was injured. He's like, Oh my god, don't tell me that they tried to take it from you. He's like, Yes, it's true. You just can't trust anyone anymore. And then they show what happened to him, and what happened was that he was biking in a zoo <laughs> and he got attacked by the lions. Yeah. He's like, you're, there's something off about your flashback. He's like, no, <laughs> there was nothing off. It's like, I feel have a feeling you've done this before. He's like, yes, but that doesn't change anything. <laughs> really good. Um, the bit here with um, Ty, like, pretending. So the when she bumps into uh, Sukoyo, um, <laughs> Sachan and QB start doing this Yakuza bit, which is pretty funny because it's, in a lot of Yakuza games, which is how I know it, where you bump into somebody and then you make it seem like the bump has hurt you in some kind of way, so you can extort them for a lot of money. But in this case, they're trying to extort out their um, <laughs> the rankings from her. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny, especially because they start calling her boss like she's an actual Yakuza boss. Um, yeah, boss lady. <laughs> you call on her boss lady. Yeah, boss lady. What are you gonna do to make this up for her? Huh? You want to come with us over here? You want, like, they start, like, doing actual Yakuza attack. There's, like, all the stuff, anything that you would think of a random NPC talking to Kiryu Kazuma about. This is basically what they did to Sequoia. Um, And it's really funny how she just, like, is like, oh, no, I'll just wash it. It's okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> it was complete by accident. Um, and then at this point, Tay starts going, like, no, I think it's actually, after meeting with you, I think it's time to say we're, we're done. See, right now, we're, like, the old... 80s synth band or something called we're like a girl group called diamond and you're the new hotness coming in your perfume and we just can't compete anymore <laughs> our electro beats just can't keep up with what you got going on and then that's when they decide to like d divvy up the knife it's also really funny because um uh sequoia also just rips off her knife plays <laughs> 
and she causes her to like bleed out and stuff. He's like, no, it's okay. I just found it. That you literally just ripped it off of yourself. No, it's okay. <laughs> and she's like bleeding all over the place. Uh, pretty funny. And then the uh, Shinpachi is like, oh my god, they really are devious. They're actually, they're not diamond anything. They're actually like an evil like vampire group. <laughs> they're all they're doing is vacuuming up things, and then their actual their actual plan is also just to get to Kagura because when they get to Kagura, they'll be able to get the sixth place, which uh, they'll do because Kagura will instantly do anything Ote Ote says. So it's pretty funny. I also like the, there's like a little bit there where they actually show them in like the group stuff and uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good stuff here. And yeah, the ending bit here where Hasegawa has been immediately taken out is pretty good. Because I was going to say the only other character that shows up as naked as Kondo is actually Hasegawa. <laughs> uh huh. He's the only one that shows up just as much as him. I think the third would actually probably maybe be Katsura actually. I don't think he does it as much as them, but he does do it occasionally I think. But either way. Really fun. I really like this episode. The continuing uh, bits here of the popularity poll work for me. How do you feel, Zen? Uh, I thought it was really funny. I love the plan to become the girl group. I think that was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Uh, it's it's just very. It was a good episode. It was a good episode. All yeah. all the all the jokes about and then like when uh, Okita is like you're you're betraying us. <laughs> like it's, it's funny. It is. I think is this is also the part where they do where they talk about like we have to Yamazaki said I have to protect my standing so I have to and then they like walk off and to make it seem like oh yeah these are the two groups it's the Shinsengumi and the Odd Jobs crew and then Toki's like good job you really got him uh, tricked Shinpachi he's like no what do you mean it's like obviously we're gonna take them out and take the standings for ourselves it's like no that's not what I meant <laughs> what I meant is that we should actually be united. <laughs> It's like, nope, didn't catch that, sorry. <laughs> We're all going to be fighting each other. So yeah, real good episode. Now let's get to the end of this arc, which is episode 184, Popularity Polls Can dot dot dot. Go ahead, Zen. Uh, so everybody um, is, is like at the hotel. Shim uh, Okita has Shimpachi. Uh, and he's like, you're you're definitely the traitor, aren't you, you fucker? And he's like, no, it's not me. Um, and then Gintoki leaps in from the background and yanks Okita's pants down. But then he's like, haha, I was wearing a backup pair of boxer shorts. And he says something like, uh, a master strategist plans to be betrayed before he starts betraying others. <laughs> um, and then Kondo jumps in and pulls down Gintoki's pants, but then Gintoki's wearing a loincloth. And then it's funny because he just goes like, "Bread to join the cloth." Really funny. Um, and then Kagura jumps up to pull down Kondo's pants, but then it turns out that he's not wearing any. <laughs> um, and he's like, "Yeah, if getting your underwear pulled down kills your rank, then the obvious thing to do is not let your underwear get pulled down to begin with." Also, nobody cares about my uh, my pants being off because I'm constantly naked. Um. Otai shows up and punches him through the roof. And she then doesn't punch him. Perfume, she or, kick, she oh, kicks him straight kicks in the nuts. Yeah, she kicks him in the nuts yeah, up through the roof. Um, and then the rest of Diamond Perfume is there, and they're doing like this little dance at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> yeah, it's like like little. It's so funny. It's so, especially it's funny because how much uh, Sequoia does not want to be doing. Yeah, it. she has this like, really like embarrassed looking face on while the other two are super into it. Um, and then Kagura immediately betrays everyone, which then bumps their rank up to six because as a group they have the ranking of the highest ranked person. Um, Gintoki, Shinpachi, and Okita are like, okay, shit, we need to team up. And then um, Hijikata is, shows up behind Otai doing the dance <laughs> that they're doing. And then Katsura is down behind the other ones also doing the dance. But then he turns on them. They, they show up to stop them. Um, and they all start fighting and then Katsura and Kyube are like our characters are the same you need to change <laughs> and Kyube's like no you need to change um, and then Ote is like you don't understand alright you're uh, you're just rip offs of historical figures we're original characters that worked our way up from the bottom 
but then uh, Okita or no Hichikata and Katsura are like, you don't understand what it's like, constantly being told that we're slandering the good name of a fiction <laughs> of a historical character, um, and so they form like a team up. Katsura breaks the handcuffs away because um, Hichikata like cuts them off with a sword, and he's like, all right, temporary truce. And then uh, Katsura starts attacking Kube with his like bombs that he has sometimes. Yeah. And then they go to fight, and he screams, "Let's do party!" <laughs> they start hitting each other. Which is the um, reference that says to uh, the Japanese Dynasty Warriors game. Uh, I think I, I remember. That's very, very funny. Yeah. Um, and then Hijikata is fighting uh, Tai, and then she's like. Hey, aren't you super excited about the second season of some show that like the voice actor is working on? It's a different show. Yeah, and he's like, "Don't say that shit. Stop breaking the fourth wall." <laughs> yeah. Um. But then Kondo switches sides and joins Diamond Perfume, and he's doing the dance upside down from the ceiling. Yeah. Um, and then um. Kagura and Okita are fighting, and Kagura's like, ha ha um, my, you see our rank is up to three now, because we've already beaten Hijikata, but then the rank drops all the way to 12th, and it's because, um, Kondo is on the team, and, and he's, like, awful, and his dancing with, with his dick out is, like, destroying their <laughs> ranking, so his goal was to join the team, and then obliterate it from the inside, and so, uh, they're like, quick, we have to. You have to make me look more humiliating so that the, the rank will drop more. And so Kagura and Okita have like a contest where they keep adding stuff to his clothing to make him like more or less popular, and their ranks keep going up and down. Um, Kintoki and Shimpachi are fighting Sokoyo and Sachan, but then uh, Sachan gets pissed because Sokoyo says that she doesn't care about the rankings, and she's like, "Oh, you're just so cool, huh? You're just better than everybody else." <laughs> and they start fighting each other. Uh, but then Elizabeth and Sadaharu show up, and Elizabeth has, like, the, the face that she gets with, like, the Golgo 13 the, face yep. that she gets. And she knocks them both unconscious and just walks away. And Shinpachi's like, is Sadaharu walking on two <laughs> legs right now? <laughs> but then, uh, Gintoki and Shinpachi's ranking starts plummeting, and Hasegawa's like, there's someone behind this all along, up on the roof, and it's Yamazaki. And then Yamazaki is like, yeah, I'm tanking everyone's ranks so that everyone's rank will be lowered. Flowers always bloom in the dirt, but they never acknowledge the dirt. Um, and then Shinpachi punches him, and he's like, I'm, I'll sacrifice my rank so Gintoki doesn't go lower, because I'm proud to be the dirt for, for my <laughs> flower. Uh, and he's like, you, you taught me the pride in being a background character. Um, and then their rankings jump up to number one because, like, of the emotional thing right there, and then everyone starts picking them up and, like, throwing them in the air, and they're like, yeah, we'll be we'll be the supporters for you two this time, and they have, like, this emotional moment where Shipachi's like, see, Yamazaki, it's okay, and then they all throw both of them <laughs> off the roof, and Gintoki goes, dirt should go back to the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> and then the ending just plays... Oh, real good. <laughs> what a perfect way to it's end it. It's such a good fucking ending. It is. It's a, it's a wonderful way to end it. Yeah, this episode is really funny. It, it's a perfect way of ending the entire... The, the bring it all together and end the arc uh, right here. Um, <clears throat> things I liked. I really liked it when Kondo reveal The reveal of Kondo being like immune to... <laughs> no pants and lowering his popularity because he's already at that low popularity he's he's already hit the adverse effects of everything that he's done so what could it could it literally can't make it any worse his fortress he says is impregnable and then they show his fortress and it's like fucked up in the background it's like dying it's decaying it's real funny um uh, I also like when after he shows his no pants, I think it's Shimpachi says like, "Do you have no shame about exposing yourself to a little girl?" <laughs> because he's like, without second thought, was like, "Oh yeah, no problem." The Kagura just basically gets an eye full of <laughs> Kondo at full blast. 
Um, I think she also says something like the, the also the bit of them saying like uh, in like heavy Japanese these other words were super funny. Okita does it, Gintoki does it, and then Kagura does it for the end here with um, uh, Kondo. Pretty good. Um. I liked it when everyone started fighting. The reveal where uh, Katsura says that actually him and QB share too many similar um, <laughs> personalities, and they show back to when they were in that beach episode of them trying to protect their sand, like their stuff from the sand, <laughs> like QB like putting her back to it, trying to protect her sand castle, and Katsura protecting his SOS was really funny. Um, and then Tai saying, like, I don't think you understand that your personalities are not actually that same, and then she uses her own specific personality quirk, which is that she can't actually handle being close to men, <laughs> and she's able to instantly throw them off. Uh, also the bit where they're, like, sneaking up behind him is pretty funny, because they actually put on, like, a fake female voice, <laughs> like, their voice going, like, ah, yes, let's do it together! <laughs> yeah, they do, like, the high-pitched voice, yeah. <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, the bit where they team up is pretty good, especially because Shinpachi tries to tell him, like, hey, maybe you should calm down, and he puts a bomb immediately in his hands <laughs> and blows him up. Um, the bits where, um, H Hijikata is saying to specifically uh, Otai that the reason that Kondo's popularity is so low is because of her because all he's ever known as is the pervert stalker and it's because of her so if we got rid of her Kondo's standings will go up because he won't be stalking her anymore <laughs> she was like oh yeah gonna blame it on me huh let's go uh her plan also the to um absorb everyone is also pretty funny the the dance that they keep doing especially when Kondo does it with no pants on <laughs> I've seen that gif around of him doing like this dance and I never knew what the situation was. Uh but now I know. It's pretty funny. Um actually all the bits where like Kondo's like on the floor. I think when he first shows up naked he's like do me and then and then it goes on I need you to embarrass me even more <laughs> so I can bring them down. Um the uh I liked all the fourth meta, uh, fourth wall breaking jokes that they got here. They have a couple for, let me find the exact name of the game, because it's going to kill me if I don't know it, because it also features, it's Sengoku Basara, that's the name of the game, where it's like the, um, it's like Dynasty Warriors, but instead of China, it's Japanese, <laughs> at least that's how I understand it to be, um, all pretty good. And yeah, the the ending bit was really good too, as well as they start talking about like the role of supporting characters and how they are they never go super well recognized, but they're one hundred percent needed in these kind of mangas because if you didn't have them, you wouldn't be able to grow the characters to be uh, appropriate, and they'll never go noticed, and that's perfectly fine because they are doing their job. And I think that's actually a pretty nice message for a very silly arc <laughs> where it's like, yeah, the. The characters like this who don't actually stand out, like the Shinpachi types, like it's easy to say like, oh yeah, you know, it's, it's just a Shinpachi and you don't really think about them, but they are important to making other characters look much better. It is a thankless job to be the person, it's kind of like the jobber role in wrestling. Not a lot of people like jobbers, but jobbers are 100% needed to make those people shine and look better. Uh, and then when you're good at your job, you're amazing at looking <laughs> like a side character. <laughs> And yeah, the end bit here where they said dirt should return back to the dirt is pretty good. <laughs> it it's so funny when they're like slow mo falling off the roof and everyone's just like glaring at them. <laughs> dirt should go back to the dirt. Yep, so fucking good. Yeah, it's really good. I also like there's a brief bit here when we're talking about like random nameless NPCs getting a rank. There's a my favorite is and, and ranked 464. Random girl crying. <laughs> Little girl crying was ranked 465. Yeah, I think the dandelion flower had a rank too. Yeah, he did. Actually, I think dandelion made it to the top 100, which is pretty funny because we have not seen that dandelion er uh, character, Amanto, in year <laughs> in epi over maybe uh -huh. close to 100 episodes, I think. Um, and also, I like that the ED actually, the which is the OP again, actually shows some of the characters throughout the the many rankings as well. All the different people who ranked in the top 100 are pretty funny. Uh, 
Yeah, actually looking at the full list of some of the hundred, it's kind of crazy. Especially because some of them where it's like, yeah, just, uh, um, like Ginpachi Sensei made it to number 43, which is, <laughs> which is pretty funny because Catherine made it to 42. So Ginpachi Sensei almost more popular than Catherine, who has been in what has had much more, uh, screen time. Hidora, I think is the name of, yeah, Hidora is ranked, uh, 36 and Umabozo is number 35. Which is pretty impressive, considering Umabozo had an entire episode dedicated to him. Dedicated to how cool he is, too. Yeah, and Hidora still almost beat him. Uh, Shinpachi's glasses came in 45. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, I, I really like this arc. It was a very silly arc. It was very fun, though. Mayo 13 came in 30, 67th. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Gintaman, 7th <laughs> place. It's, uh, I like it when they do this, they go that crazy. The director inside of Elizabeth placed 81. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful stuff here on display. So yeah, I really like this arc. And it was, I think, a good old fun time. How do you feel, Zen? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was, it was the first time I think they've taken an arc around a completely silly, stupid concept. And it was just funny and good the whole time. Like, yeah. It it was a, a funny way to use the characters to like critique everyone else's character, like their design in the series and stuff. It's yeah, very funny. It, it is it was really uh, a good way of doing. It. Not a lot of people do it. I think the only other person, which is my favorite example, is always been Doctor Slump, where uh, they did character polls where it's like, who's your favorite character, and then they did an additional character poll that says, okay, now who do you hate the most? <laughs> who's the most annoying character on this show? <laughs> And that one's always great because I think Akira Toriyama placed like seventh on the most hated character list, <laughs> or most annoying character list, I should say. So I think it's a it's good when an author can actually take the time off to just kind of poke fun of them, especially when if uh, poking fun at Sequoia, who made it I mean, instantly the top ten status, and then they're just like tearing down like it's not fair. She just has like too many cool things. <laughs> Even here, when there, uh, the reaction she had with Sachan, where Sachan was taking offense about, like, okay, you know what? We're supposed to be united in this, and the way that you're, like, acting above it is just really not... <laughs> the vibe is like, listen, I, I literally don't care. It's like, that's, see, that's the issue I'm having here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their fight is very funny. Because she's like, I never said that y'all were getting your hands dirty, I just said I don't care. She's like, oh, you think you're so much better than everybody <laughs> else, don't you? Yeah, uh, it also goes back to Sachan just having major beef with Kiss's character because she has basically everything she wants, even down to like um, at one point in the first episode of the arc, she says like uh, Gintoki even groped her boob because like that's unfair. I've been here for so long and I haven't had a single boob grope in this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just unfair. She's like literally the Yugi beam going like it's not fair. It should have been, been me. <laughs> not her <laughs> it's not fair but yeah real good job on this one so that is episode 182 from 184 and that's the character pull arc and that is it for this episode of Shonen Archive so let's talk about what we're going to be doing uh, next week hopefully uh, next week this is how the breakdown is starting to look down I believe it is episode 185 186, 187 188 189 um yes that is going to be the breakdown for it i have had some help so someone has helped me uh to kind of have a good pretty good idea of how to break these down now so it should be pretty easy for us to break down and know exactly how i should now know going in if an arc is extremely serious or not so okay. we'll we'll know not to like mix them up and stuff like that so uh, I have, like, an entire full-on list. I actually need to sit down and, like, fully do it. Because this is up to, like, close to the end. The, this person really went out of their way. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Nix, very much for the help. They did. They went above and beyond of what I expected to the point where it's like, ah, oh, shit, <laughs> now I really have to pay attention to this and get it super well done. Put it as much effort as they did, so... That's cool going forward. So there you go. Next one should be a simple five, and then it, after that it should be another um, five, and then we'll have an, a, another big arc after that one in basically three weeks' time. So look forward to that. So yeah, next week, just to say again, it is 
episode 185 to 189, um, which will feature a tiny arc of it, but it should be like a tiny, it shouldn't be a super serious one if my, um, if my notes, actually I should double check the notes now that I think about it. Either way, it should be that. <laughs> Uh, this is Editing Wookie. I checked in there. Yeah, that the episode order is good. It's kind of serious, but it should be fine. We'll be fine. We're watching it. Thank you. If it is, if it doesn't end up being that, it's the reason is that I double consulted the notes, but that should be the next, that should be the next uh, batch of episodes. And yeah, now it's time to say, hey, if you want some more um, Zenrado content, then you can go over to Zen's channel. Where he does Shonen and Chill, where he talks about the current on going ons in Manga Land. Um, what's going on in Shonen Jump right now, Zen? Uh, not too much, to be honest. Um, yeah, Sukuna is currently uh, on trial. He's going to court. Um, he's facing the allegations. He is. He's properly facing the allegations. <laughs> um, my hero still sucks. That's about it. <laughs> They, they have moved over a, just a tiny decimal. At this point, a character has moved a tiny inch forward. <laughs> Actually, I have to read it to see where it's come up. But to be honest, you can just kind of wait. and well, yeah. F thankfully enough, I think I muted a lot of My Hero words. So none of them pop up except for you occasionally, I think. Um, uh, just because at a certain point, it was getting real annoying. I would have done the same for Jujutsu Kaisen, but it's too funny. Like, I feel like I'm in a current moment that I actually need to see and experience this. I, like, need that side of the Jujutsu fandom having a meltdown over the ending of their arc, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, there you go. Follow Zen. Kagorobachi still good? Still good. Oh, man, the last episode had some very, very sick moments in it. All right. One the last chapter, not episode, chapter is really good. All right. One of these days, I'm going to throw it on you. I finally read it. And it will completely... Need you on that, on that gas. <laughs> I need to get on gas, apparently. It's time to accept the new era is here. Let's go. And yeah, for me stuff, you can always go to my channel. Um, currently, I have a bunch of stuff uh, cooking in the sense that... Um, I mean, we'll see how the channel goes because I need to do some Fago stuff, and the Fago stuff is I need to catch up to the story if I need to make it to these raids. Oh my god, I thought I had more time. I have an entire, like, I, the, have I ever, no, I've never told you about it. So basically, the current event that I have to do um, requires me to complete Lost Belt 6. Um, have I ever told you how big the script for Fago's Lost Belt 6 is? No. Uh, let me show you it, because they printed it out to show on stream how much the writer for Fago, the, which is Nasu, the, he's not the main writer for Fago, but he's the whole reason behind Type Moon being the Type Moon. He printed out his script to show how big it is and how much writing went into it. That's how much writing is in this goddamn thing. Jesus. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> It's not easy. It's a very. I'm power reading, and I need to read all this in the next week or so, <laughs> if I want to participate in an upcoming event that is extremely important to grinding. So I'm on a hell's mission to get that done. Uh, it's been so. It's gonna make it a little bit weird for video stuff, but I'll occasionally remember to put up a video. I should really put up those Pokemon TCG live streams at this point. Um, because I've been delaying doing that, and I need to do that. I did recently upload a video of me playing a Hello Kitty game. You can check that out. All right. Yeah. All right. It's, it's someone that said what? Pretty, that sounds pretty banger. Yeah, it's pretty banger. They said, "What if we made Balloon Fight, um, but not as good, and also included boss fights, which required some of the sickest platforming in a video game that I've ever had." It's very hard. Somewhere on level 5, which is the halfway point of the game, it turns into the hardest game that I've ever played. Uh, imagine a, a boss that had an instant death er, uh, an instant death place, and you needed to jump on top of it, but you couldn't jump on top of it. You had to airdrop on him and then hope that when you went on the up and up, you had land next to you. And there's very little land to land. It's basically like 80% of the screen is insta-death. And then you have to land on the 10% that is um, safe. And this is for the Hello Kitty game. 
<laughs> Very surprising. Go check that out if you got the time. But yeah, there'll be more videos. I'll remember. And at some point we have to do we have to figure out when we can get together and watch a public domain Christmas movie for Christmas time. We do need to do that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I haven't forgotten. I never forget anything. So we'll look forward to that sometime in the future. We have to get back to live streams as well, but hopefully next week um I don't work on Monday, so I can work on one of the other days. It's really annoying that for the past two weeks, they've made me start on Monday when they've never asked me to. But such is the nature of work sometimes. But yeah, that's the end of Shonen Archive, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can just uh, leave support here. Uh, It does help out the channel a whole bunch. Uh, But as always, remember, it's okay because Fago is the thing that funds this channel. I'm not even lying. I do like, I realized a couple days ago, I was like, damn, I really feel like I haven't uploaded enough videos. And then I realized that one Fago video I uploaded in a single week has done better than the vast majority of videos that I've ever done in the history of the channel of me daily uploading. And it was a real come to God moment of like, I I guess the joke I make is actually real. This channel is entirely supported by one thing, but it's okay. That means it's so that we can put more time and effort into this. Hey, if it works, it works. That's, That's what, what matters. I'm exactly. Does it work? It works. Exactly. The Shinsen Gumi are technically in Fago, though I prefer the Gintama version of the Shinsen Gumi. That's just a personal thing. Yeah, it's the okay. Shinsen Gumi are, are in a bunch of stuff. It's funny looking at the Shinsen Gumi in Gintama versus the Shinsen Gumi that are in like uh, Kenshin. Yeah, I was saying thing. like these are these are very different characters. <laughs> It is actually pretty fun. There, you, we could actually probably, if we could track them down, actually do a full video tracking down all the different ways the Shinsen Gumi have been placed in like anime and stuff. <laughs> because it is honestly kind of surprising how different it is in every single one. Some in some of them, Okita's not even a man. Okita's just straight up a woman in some of them. It's a popular thing to change Okita's gender into female. I found. Um, looking up the Shinsen Gumi. But that's a future thing for future times if we ever get around to it. If we ever both decide uh, to get just really into talking about Japanese historical figures and where their current placing are in anime and manga. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you guys in the next one. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Adios. I... I really need to stop hitting this end call button when I need to hit the stop recording button. I'm so fucking stupid. What am I doing? <laughs>